Praise the Lord, I extend my loving greetings to all my listeners in the precious name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. For today's devotion, let us turn to Psalm 104. The topic is Majestic, Wonderful Creator and Sustainer. The psalmist here is using very figurative languages while trying to explain the infinite God. He is bringing out the beauty and the wonder of our Lord's amazing creations. He is portraying the magnificence of the Lord God Almighty for what He has created and how marvelously has He made them all. When we consider all his creations, we humans can only stand in awe with no words. But the truth is, we often take everything for granted. Not really taking time to stop and think of our Lord's greatness in creation. We are nothing before this mighty, all-powerful God. The first few verses talk about our God's absolute purity and righteousness. Also about God's wonderful providence for His creatures. Everything is set in order and they all obey His commandments and move accordingly. The earth is satisfied with the springs flowing to grass, plants and trees. As a result, the humans, the animals and the birds, all lives are sustained by God's well-planned creations. Forests, Mountains and hills are very suitably created for wild animals' habitation. Sun and moon, they keep their courses very perfectly. Even the sunlight and the darkness help to feed and protect the animals as well as human beings. All living organisms depend on God Almighty for their food and all kinds of provisions. They are fed abundantly. Beloved sisters, we read here that it is God's wisdom that has put everything in order. The majesty and splendor of God's creation is beyond man's finite mind. We, the blood bought children of God, by the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross, have all the reasons to fall prostrate before our great God of the universe, our Redeemer, and worship Him constantly. Dear listeners, one day the Lord shall reign in His future kingdom in all His glory. Then the whole universe shall be filled with songs of praise, rejoicing in His works, honoring Him for His greatness and goodness. The psalmist cannot wait for that day. And he says that his daily meditation of the Lord God shall be sweet and he shall sing joyfully of the excellencies of God as long as he lives and forever. Let's also say, along with the psalmist, how manifold are thy works, O Lord God. All the earth is full of thy riches. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and praise the Lord.